What's up everyone and welcome back finally to our League of Legends Top 5 play segment here on Pertina Monster. Thank you to everyone who stuck by and patiently waited for us to start back up. It means a great big deal to us and I'll be talking a little bit more about what happened during the bonus clip, but something tells me you guys want to see some Top 5 plays, so let's get into this. Coming in at our 5th place spot, we have Lusty on support Lulu. At the start, we see Graves going to finish off Sona, but little does he know, Maokai is ganking for River. He dashes in and gets the kill as the Twisted Advance comes in and he takes massive damage, dropping Solo from all the bursts and then falling, leaving Lulu all alone. All of a sudden, Maokai flashes and goes for the Q, but she reads it and flashes it over, turning immediately to bring him as low as possible, running out of range of the turret and baiting him back as she runs back into the turret range and using his W to bring him to her. She exhausts and does a ton of damage, killing him and granting her level 3. She quickly trains a point in her shield and shields the final hit from Vayne, the mechanics. Welcome to the League of Legends Top 5 Plays Champion Derp Blight, featuring Derp Blight, the Derp of Noxus. At the start, we see Darius get ulted by Skarner back into the enemy team, but he manages to flash over into Wolves and escape. His team starts to win the fight, forcing the enemy team to retreat, but he has other plans, walking up to the wall and pulling four enemy players back over the wall to meet their doom. With no ults at all to defend themselves, they are obliterated in the blink of an eye. Landing a spot in at her number 3 plays, Arca48 on Lux, who at the start is retreating from Munu and Akali, turning to use her snare until she brings Akali really low and lands another Q, turning to pick up the kill but is forced to turn and run from Mundo. He starts to dive here, she gets lower and lower, and then we slow it down and she throws out her shield, absorbing some of his damage right before she goes down and comes back, reshielding her and buying her just enough time to throw out her snare and let the tower finish him off. Close call, right? Not as close as this. Scoring in at second place is Triad on Vladimir, who at the beginning gets stunned by Vygar and then pulled in by Blitz. He instantly pulls as the Malphite charges in with unstoppable force, knocking most of them up, followed by a Vlad and Gragas Barrel to launch them all the way and wait for it. Picking up the instant quadrakill with the follow-up damage from his ultimate, he finishes off Cho'Gath for the pentakill, ace, and right after the game. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Avenging Wrath on Alistar working so well with the friendly Ari. At the start, we see the team fight breakout where both teams are going back and forth. The carry standing far back as the tanks keep trying to get a great catch. Finally, the full fight erupts and Jace goes down as we slow back down. And we see Alistar headbutt fist towards the tower and then run towards him for the pulverize, but he escapes. He immediately turns and runs into the enemy team, landing a great pulverize as Ari finishes off the enemy Alistar, but now it's a 2v4. Alistar charges in towards the low health Ari, really, but he sees Vladimir trying to fight Ari, so he turns around, landing a sick headbutt into the wall for the stun, and then follows it up with a pulverize as Ari Q's grabbing the triple kill. Ari sees what she's up to and lands a beautiful flash as she flashes for the kill, escaping with barely any health as the tower gets her the quadra kill. Finally, Corky is left and they chase, but with another great prediction, she dodges his ultimate as he runs into the brush and meets her face to face, but Alistar headbutts him into a charm pulverize as she walks away, leaving Alistar to get the ace and denying herself a pentakill. It takes a special kind of player to walk away from a pentakill. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Gunas on Warwick, and as this play continues, I wanted to talk about what happened for those who don't know, what we did as a temp fix, and what will be coming in the future. To start things off, for those who don't know, there is a bug with Low Recorder that prevents us from opening about 99% of the replays in our database. With this being said, I'm sure you've noticed our absence of videos within the past few weeks, and we're glad to say we finally found a temporary fix for the issue. We reworked our database of clips to separate the plays and help determine which plays come from certain patches, and with some other things, we finally got it working on one of our computers. So day and night for the past few days, we've been taking turns recording the plays to finally get this out. We can't say how sorry we are for the wait, but for those who are watching this and who stayed and supported us, you have our eternal gratitude and in the future you can expect to see videos getting out on time day by day and we will do everything in our power to get ahead to prevent anything like this from happening in the future. We apologize again and thanks for your support. Just as a final heads up, there's a severe thunderstorm warning for tomorrow in our area, so for some reason if our internet goes out, we'll notify you guys immediately, but as of right now, expect the daily videos tomorrow. Thanks everyone so much, I hope you enjoyed week 93, and as always, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you back here soon for week 94.